Hello, my fellow YouTubers. What's today? Today is Happy New Year's Eve to everybody out there. Also, I never did say Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Holidays. Um, today, it's, again, pretty gloomy out there. Um, right now, I have it hooked up to my solar panel. And... Let me see, what did I work on today? I wanted to show you guys a couple things. <coughs> One is, I was working on this pancake coil, and obviously um, it's very important to have your primary um, right, because if your primary ain't right, you're not gonna get anything to light up here. Uh, let me see, do I have everything plugged in? Looks like I do. Let's grab something and fire on okay so a couple things we're working on today is what if i do like tesla's pancake coil and run one end into the other and continue running and come out the other end um, that was very very hard to work that was very hard to get this light bulb to light up and i'll tell you why um it it disturbs the field when it builds up and collapses and then the uh, that's the magnetic field in the primary and then the secondary field um, doesn't really get a chance to fall apart and then rebuild up again so what was going on was it was kind of going into it into itself and started running and i guess it wouldn't allow the field to collapse so i thought it would have been a stronger field but basically it was sending a field into a field so it didn't work that well it didn't work at all but I noticed when I stepped up the amps that I got it to work, but it wasn't really strong. So obviously, ah, put that to the side. Secondly is, since I have two wires running here uh, around and around, I just hooked up one set of wires, and that's what we have working right here now. And you can see it's, it goes out about a foot or so before it turns off. Um, not that strong, but again, this is only running off of um, like 19 volts, 17 and 19 volts from the solar panel. Another thing I noticed was that the these two bare wires here that run parallel or with <coughs> the primary wire is also fired up too. So it uh, has a lot of uh, high voltage in it. So that's another thing you can maybe... Well, I do notice that it does collapse the field when you touch it, and it takes a second for the field to build back up. So it is kind of sensitive. Another thing I wanted to show you is, uh, okay, so here's a voltmeter. I want you guys to look at this. I'm going to see if you can hold the voltmeter. And I want to show you with my fingers, because I'm going to connect my body to the voltmeter, and I'm going to show you what starts happening here with the voltmeter. And you're going to see, let me get my fingers better on this. I don't know which one, probably that one would be good. Okay. So, all right, there's my fingers, right? There's the voltmeter. You see the field collapsing and building back up, right? And as I move my hand out, you can see the field... Well, this one is showing strong, but and it's in there, and then it's out, and, and out. Well, I was doing better earlier, but you can see that field collapsing. What I was going to show you guys is that uh, the further out I go, sort of I can stretch the field out. But then it gives and stops. So it's about the same same point as this light bulb lighting up. And it lights up. You can just see, yeah, well, there, there's about the field right now. So I guess it's so dark out. Maybe the volts drop down. So you can see it equals the same. So it's pretty cool to see it on a voltmeter of it uh, pulsing. And you can see it going on and off. My thumb's close, I'm holding the two ends of the voltmeter, and then you can see it 
I'll have to bring my hand out. Maybe go down, maybe going down might be better. Bring my hand out. Yeah, some parts of the coil are stronger than others, like you notice know, like right there. So I bring my hand out. It's about the distance that I'm getting right now because it's real cloudy out. There's a good spot. So that's about where my hand is right there. I got both prong ends. And you can see the voltmeter. So that's about, right there's about the distance. Right about here is about the distance that uh, this area here will light up. And you can see it right there too, right? It lights up, out. Lights up, out. So what I'm showing you guys is, um, you know, pretty much the field that's collapsing. It's pretty much dictated by one is the primary. And I don't think going outward with the primary is the stronger way to go. But um, I'm going to tear this one apart. And I am going to go uh, back to using thick battery cables. And I'm going to stretch that out like the pancake first. To see if it broadens out my my width of my of my field. And I'm going to again try the fat wire going upwards is what I had before and that, that gave me a lot of strength and a lot of um, a lot of field but um, cool things guys happy new year's you guys have a good day this is just me studying about how these uh, magnetic electric fields work and it's pretty cool to have just a circuit and just using a transistor you guys have a good day peace out